Good evening, peeps, and welcome back to UB Psycho. See, I actually way prefer how there was actually music in the intro, but, um, you know, let's just start it anyway. Good evening, peeps, my name is Scripps, and welcome back to UB Psycho. I kind of said that already. But in the last episode, we went through the entire archives, and we finally found the freaking book we needed, which is the Hexenhammer. Uh, I don't know what other... As oh, well, no, we didn't find the Hexenhammer, that's right. That's why we're going in here. We're gonna find the Hexenhammer, and we also just got a flashlight with limited batteries. Why does it have to have limited bat- Or it gave me batteries, so I'm assuming that I only have a limited amount of time in here. Which sucks. What if I get stuck then? What if I just run out of batteries? Am I just supposed to wander the dark? And also there's a dead guy, so that's nice. It's a book stand. Well, you're freaking helpful, aren't you? Hello? It's a wooden cart with an owl on it. It's got wheels. I can push it easily. Aw, oh, crap. It's another freaking puzzle, isn't it? Well, anyway, I shouldn't be spending too much time just standing here. It's a wooden cart with all... So I'm guessing that's in case I need something from one of the higher shelves. Right? There's a green book, but I can't take it out. The display cabinet's locked. Well, that wouldn't be the hex hammer. That would be too easy. Oh, crap. I don't need... I have no idea what I need to do yet. Let's just go this way. It's a pistol with a button. Shall I push it? Oh. Really? 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 You know, finish the job. Finish the job. You know, just finish the job. That's, that's for the better of us. Great. It's been... It's been two seconds. So not the answer I was looking for. Good to know. What do I need to do around here then? Because it doesn't make sense to me, if you ask. Okay. Two. Oh, freak. I gotta recite my Roman numerals. So we've got 12, I believe, because I believe that X is 10. So we've got 12, 2, and 8. And the owl is, of course, covering up the last one. So, the 10 is green, the red is 2, and the blue is 8. But what does this information really help me? Look, it's a book with a red cover, it's pages are blank. Okay, and red was 2, right? Am I not wrong? Okay, yeah, red, red is 2, so where is 2? Oh, here, here, here. Right? It's a book stand. Well, yes, then use the freaking book. Put that there. So where do I find the other book? Okay, so there was one in here, and it had a green cover, and it was pushable? Can I ram it with this? There we go. See, I'm smart. And I got a green book, and what was the green number? Green 12. Alright. I'm also sorry this is a very heavy, like, uh, puzzle segment, but that's kind of like how these RPG horror games are. They're kind of heavy on the... Heavy on, like, the, um... Like, the theme of horror, more so the theme of horror than uh, the, um, the actual horror aspect, because it just seems to be a lot of puzzles. Hopefully this game will, will step into the real horror genre soon, like, kind of like how uh, The Witch's House and Ip did, uh, because that's what I really liked about the old RPG horror games. Well, I don't even know where the blue book is yet, so that doesn't help. Oh, here, here, <laughs> never mind. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hello! Should I take the book? Got a yellow book. Painting changed. Oh! Oh yeah, the painting changed. Why did the painting change? I, I don't know. But that's 13 then. Okay, okay. That, that wasn't that hard. But then again, the puzzles in this game are luckily quite forgiving. They just take a bunch of time to get through. Eh. Yay! Oh, fuck me. No, you're gonna make my battery go out, aren't you? Look how dark it is! It's a letter. It says, My friend, I would not trust any member of this company, more so now as it slowly destroys itself. Anyone may be one of her children, and there's no way to know. We three are all who can be trusted. Signed, A.M. Oh, I can still walk in the dark. Look how dark it is! You've got one sheet of witch paper. Hey, that's good. Oh fuck, I should have saved. It's a note, it says, With the dagger in the hands of the crow, I pray that this nightmare ends. 
Now I leave in your hands the report of his progress, signed AM. That was quickly you gave up. It's a letter, it reads, you could not have sent worse news. We must hide as soon as possible and delete any record of her names. If she discovers our identities, we are lost. Signed, AM. AM, huh? Sorry. Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! That said sorry? Thanks! I absolutely hate it. Let me let me save because I feel like there's a good reason that they put a save point here. This guy is gonna break out of this, isn't he? This this thing is reading a book. It may be. Yes, it's the Hexenhammer. Should I take the book, Mr. Mummy? If you don't mind, I need to take this book. Please don't wake up. You got the Hexenhammer. <sighs> At last, I can take this damn book to Sintra and then get the hell out of here. No? You're not gonna chase me, really? No. Well, that's good. Oh. Hello? Oh, fuck. I cannot let you take me old man gray with book. <coughs> Sorry, that was a horrible voice to speak for you. Oh, 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 oh no. Get out of here, boy! The door is with spider webs. I can't get out. Uh, what do I do? How do I kill a spider? Oh, oh, here? Hello? Get over here, then! SOS! Oh, here we are! Nope! Did not help! Did not- Oh, 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 I- He's- She steps over them. I have to- Oh, fuck me. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, come on. Ah! Okay, 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 see, see. Fuck. Okay, this is very bad. How do I kill the spider, though? She's- Ow! Well, okay, so how do I do this, legitimately? Because I do not know. Shit. Okay, so it doesn't work. Do I need to smash her with the owl things? No, that wouldn't make sense, would it? Ha! Ah. Didn't do fuck all. I couldn't even open my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! I did it! I did it! I did it once! Okay, okay. Oh, well, that's not that hard. I think, if I can just keep doing that. Okay, okay, yeah, I can, yeah, I can do that, I can do that. There we go! Oh, did I do it? Oh, yay! I think it's gone. Thank fuck! What? What? Hedwig? Well, what a lovely, what a, what a lovely thing, but can I still get the hell out of here and save? That would still be like my most preferable thing in the world. I don't have any witch paper. Oh crap, I don't have any witch paper. Oh no. Let me just get down to my office, alive and well. Paper please. Anywhere. I'm gonna ransack this office until I find something. <coughs> One sheet of witch paper. Oh, okay, you know. I would go searching for more. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Also, I saw someone comment that Sosa is probably the most normal person here. Um, and I think I said the same thing. I think I do agree that Sosa is probably the most sane person of all of us. There's nothing interesting here. Okay, you know what? Fine. Um, maybe I'll, t I'll talk to Sin Sinatra. Sinatra. Frank Sinatra over here first. Sintra Corp. Here's the book. You used Hexenhammer. Excellent work, Mr. Pasternak. No, 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 Mr. Pasternak. Is something wrong? Look, Sintra, I've just come face to face with a kind of mechanized man spider that was throwing bombs with eyes at me and there was a mummy in the dark and and, and, and... 
And well, this isn't for me. I'm not gonna fit in here. I thought this was gonna be a normal office job, checking papers and going out for coffee at mid-morning. I understand how you feel, Mr. Pasternak. We know that this is not an easy task, and that you have a special responsibility within the company. On behalf of Sintacorp, I would like to convey our full confidence in your capabilities. I would also like to inform you that I personally see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you. Th thank you. Thank you very much. Let me remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Sintercorp. As a reward for your work, you receive a bonus of a thousand credits, which I will transfer to your account. I've got a thousand credits! Yay! So I can pay for stuff. If you'd like, let's have a look at the contents of, of this book. I guess? Is there a... And in, is, is there just going to be a checklist of things I need in order to kill a witch? Ah, interesting. Reading completed. This book is from the 15th century, which was created to identify and hunt witches. As language has changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. Interesting. Yay? First, where to find the witch? Witches make their lairs and places have deep meaning or a bond to their lives, although their hiding places are often separated from urban centers thanks to their human appearance. They can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. Good. Why did I give you a kind of weird Russian accent? Second, how to recognize a witch. Witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil. They transform and manipulate men steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes or followers among them. Or so are their so-called familiar spirits, companion animals that carry out their orders. Any woman can be a witch, since one of their powers is transmigration, the ability to swap bodies with another. Good! Oh god, that's so many steps though, this is gonna take ages! And finally, how to kill a witch. Although fire is the most effective method to eradicate a majority of witches, there are tales of exceptionally powerful witches throughout history who have proven immune to flames. According to my records, in fact, our witch was burned alive several decades ago. However, her curse continued to spread throughout the company. Several did it say centuries ago? According to the book, the only way to put an end to the powerful witches is to use a special ritual dagger called the Athame. This weapon is of great power and can be a deterrent effect, warding witches away from the wielder. This all sounds like a fairy tale. It really does. What do you mean? Well, everybody knows witches don't exist, and if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. Well, they're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. Yeah, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it kind of like be snoozing up there in between your, like, your... Your legs and your hoo-ha zone? I mean, you want me to go question women all over the company and try stabbing them with a knife? I'm pretty sure that would also kill people who aren't witches. It's clear, really clear that something strange is happening in this company, but I doubt very much that the problem will be solved by using witch hunting guidebook from, what, 500 years ago? Can't you see that doesn't make any sense? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna put my life on the line for this. Again. Let's go to my office and I'll sit in my chair and I won't disturb anyone. You're sitting in your office right now. That's true. <laughs> What was that? There's an event plan. Leave the session as soon as possible. Yeah, I was about to say hold your horses, literally. Brian, remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Wait, did you call me Brian? <laughs> you? What are you still doing here? I, I, I... Oh, mon dieu, get your ass to the meeting room. Oh, so I, I should try to come up with like a French accent. Or something, for this guy at least. <laughs> come on, come on! Come on, come on. What are you? We're the lowest of the low. I doubt it. What are you? We're garbage. My horse's ass smells better than you. You're shit. But what should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. And how are you going to achieve this? With our work. I don't want your dirty work. What else do you have? Our blood. <laughs> Let's see, Mr. Hugo, come closer. Hugo, what are you? 
I'm the lowest of the low. Well, I didn't know the lowest of the low smelled like sewer. It's because I'm garbage. That describes you better. But what should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. I see. And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. But you're a bum, Mr. Hugo. What else do you have? With my blood. All right, all right. You can go back to your places. All right, all right, all right. You're looking good today. Now then, I think we should. We have a new recruit. Oh no. Yeah, you. You. What is your name, boy? Um, hi. My name's Pasternak. Keith, you see this horse? Yes. Yeah, sure, sure. His name is Dada, and he replaces all my virile importance. Impotence. I don't have to, it, to prove anything when I'm on Dada. I'm a superior being. I'm Shalamange. But you, though, down there, you're nobody. If you don't make yourself noticed, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't... Look, come closer. <laughs> Drop that briefcase. You don't need to hide behind any shields. Be a man, for God's sake. This is... All right. Well? Well... Your name? Ah, yes, my, my name is Pasternak. Pasternak, did you know that your last name is of Jewish European origin? Um, no. It means Pashnip. From this moment on, that will be a new name. Parsnip. Boy, I see you need motivation. No, no, I'm super motivated. With each failure, you lose 200 credits. What? <laughs> Pasnip, what are you? Uh, I'm the lowest of the low. Yuck, my horse can't stand your stench. I'm garbage. But what should you be? The best. What? I didn't hear you right. The best of the best. How do you intend to achieve this? With my work. That's enough, Parsnip. What else have you got? My blood! I remember. <laughs> well, well, well. Since you're new, I'll give you a motivational task for your initiation. You don't have to, really. It's alright. It's a favor I'm doing you for you. You sure need a little push. What could it be? Let Dada choose, Colonel. Like in the good old days. What a great idea. Let Dada decide. Let's see, Dada. On what motivational tasks shall we send Parshnip? Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, what a great idea. Is this for real? Sacre bleu! Dada has been benevolent and given you an easy task. Pasternak, you'll have to make a friend in the office. Hmm, but what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought I heard it must be someone from the fourth floor, from the hive. <gasps> Did, is Hugo screwing me over? <coughs> Just because he's bored out of his freaking mind? Splendid. In this way, synergies will be generated between floors. Dada, my friend. You're a gen genius. Is that clear to you, Parsnip? You have to make a friend in the hive. Perfect. And that concludes today's motivational session. Now get back to work. What in the flying freaking fuck was that? And why is Hugo screwing me over? Parsnip. Yeah, fuck you, Hugo. Setting me down to the hive? That's where that asshole went. Oh, no, no, wait. The level, level four? That's where the girl is. <gasps> I might actually like you after all, Hugo. Here, you left your briefcase in the conference room. You got your briefcase. No, oh, oh, thank you. I'm still a little out of sorts after everything that just happened. <laughs> it's normal. It's best to just play along. You'll get this used to it. I'm glad I did the horse trick. The colonel's mad as a hatter. Who knows where he would have sent you. Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there and who knows? You might raise your salary or they might even change your job. Well, I'll see you around. I don't trust you one bit. Hi. Hello. Pencils? Buy a pencil. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to buy pencils. Hello. Mappy. She can't hear me. She's listening to music. I can't hear you. I'm listening to music. If you want to buy something, take it and leave the money. Oh, okay. Thanks. Again, can't hear you. Um, well, I don't need anything, right? Oh, no. This feels like this game is so much bigger than I originally anticipated, and this game might take years to get through. I might have to, like, um, increase it from one hour to two hour PlayStations. Hold on. It's always, you know that feeling when you just moved out? 
or well i've been living alone for a while but when your parents come by and they drop a care package of goods like an energy drink i love you mom except energy energy drink raspberry flavor is not the best <laughs> oh kate oh i love kate more well it's not not that I love Kate, but it's just she's the only normal person I've met so far in this entire game. The only normal person. Wasn't that Kate? The girl I met in the lobby? Yeah, and can I please team up with her? I need someone normal in my life. Where do I find her? Oh, this place is huge. Wait, wait, hold- No, no. What? Why are there poisonous fumes in here? This game is making less and less sense by the minute. Yeah, that's normal. Um, hello? It's not the place to talk, Mr. Pasternak. We're under surveillance. Oh, so sorry. Do we know each other? Nobody can see us together. We'll find you for your evaluation uh, evaluation later. Until then, pretend. Okay, whatever you say. So, no talking. What are you doing? The screen is blank. What, what are you guys doing? It's, it's already cra- Good! Phew. Photocopies, photocopies, photocopies. Good, I'm just gonna get some- I need to loot this stuff more often, I need these freaking witch papers more than ever. Hello? Hello? I'm a little close, sorry about that. Oh, hello! Good morning! Nice to meet you, partner. I don't know if you remember me, we met in the lobby. Ah, of course I remember you, Brian! Did, we, did everything work out with, with that letter in the end? I mean, you're here, so I, I guess it did. Yeah, well, sorta. I'm working on the fifth floor. You're pulling my leg! The fifth floor? Well... Brian, congratulations! How come you're not jumping for joy? Come on, jump, jump! Well, you seem busy. Wow, I'm so jealous of you. Well, it's not such a good job, to tell you the truth. It's a bit, uh... You haven't noticed anything weird? I mean, haven't you seen any dangerous thing or any strange creatures around here? Oh, that! <laughs> yeah, I see weird things all the time. <laughs> it's normal. It's in my it's in my malfunctional brain hole. I was also surprised by this at first. Peculiar atmosphere. Or I was I was confused by this peculiar atmosphere at first. But Brian, we're newcomers. It's normal that we're not used to how things work around here. And of course, we're gonna be outdone by professional work at this level. We have, to, we have a lot to learn. Yeah, I, I guess, but still, it's a little dangerous. Look, I already got a hang of it. Look, I already got a hang of it. Should I tell you a secret? Oh, please. <laughs> when I see or believe that there is a dangerous creature nearby, watch. Easy peasy, I'm under the table. They hardly ever see you here. You wait a little for the danger to go away, and then continue working as if nothing ever happened. You're teasing me mechanics. I didn't think about that. The truth is, there are plenty of places to duck. Sure. And if you don't have a table nearby, you can go in one of those closets. Oh god, no, we're playing a survival horror game now? Watch. Yeah, I know how to walk into- Easy peasy, I've disappeared. No, as you've got it under control. We're straight up playing Amnesia now. What do I need to hide from, though? I know it's a little weird, but it's a little weird for me also. But at business school, they always told us that we should be positive and proactive. Also, if we give up too quickly on our, uh, on our first job, we may not be taken seriously in the next ones. You'll see, Brian, once we get used to the dynamics of the company, everything will go smoothly. You know, I like you, Kate. You seem so optimistic. But a little much if you're overlooking all the freaky bullshit that's happening here. By the way, what are you doing here? Hey, uh, well, Colonel Dumont, a very strange fellow with a horse, so he told me I had to come to the fourth floor and make a, a friend, and well, I had a thought that maybe, <laughs> maybe you... Ah, the, the break's over and I have to reconvince the marketing department. But I haven't finished yet, I still have 30,000 photocopies to organize. I don't know how I'm gonna, gonna get them sorted out in time. I can help you if you want. Really? But weren't you telling me you were, you were here to do a horse chore? Um, uh, no, don't worry, I have some free time. Thank you very much, Brian. Okay, so this is the marketing department. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> right, and why are they all on all fours? I think it's the latest trend in yoga while you're working. Four employees are missing. They must all be somewhere on this floor. Huh. 
They won't be dangerous, will they? Uh, they're usually harmless, but if you tell them something they don't like, they'll throw a tantrum. I advise you to look around for good marketing slogans and use those to convince them to follow you. But keep in mind that each person is different and has a different taste. Bring them here when you've convinced them. Alright, leave it to me. Thank you, Brian. I need to convince madmen who crawl... I'm currently playing a game where I need to convince people, grown adults, who crawl around on all fours to get back to the to get back to their job by finding a good marketing slogan. This is this is fantastic. Oh, it hurts so much. What's wrong with you? What are you two bickering about? And how do I get to you? You're obviously one of the marketing people, aren't you? Ah! Nice. Okay, so there's a fucking really no use that. Yeah, screw you, you asshole. Can't you... There you go. Oh, I hate that. Why are there just mines around? Is no one thinking about any of it? Okay, so I see why. But I need more pencils, though. In order to get to that guy. Are you eating the wires? Yum, yum, yum. Would you care to join me? Don't eat my wires, goat! Get out of here! What's going on?! Fucking... Okay! Okay! I'm sorry for freaking... Freaking madmen! Oh great, there's just poisonous fumes everywhere! Circling something, a giant printer... Uh, makes sense. I love how people just punch me. I love how people just, no reason, punch me. Hello, what are you, hello? Hello? There's no way out, there's no way out. You care to join me? He's just gonna get angry with me. What are you, a fucking dog? So what did the doctor say? Make your diet medicine. So you have to eat better? No, he told me to take these meal replacement pills. Look, look. Make your diet your best medicine. Make your diet your best medicine. That's good advice, I'll remember that. Make diet your best medicine. Okay. So what did the doctor say? He said diet your best. So I just have to listen in on these... Things. They're co company union pamphlets. Unite and be free. It's got a hook. I'll remember that phrase. <laughs> okay, but I haven't found a communist or a, um, a doctor person yet, I've just found a nut guy who eat uh, basically a goat guy and a guy who doesn't know when to come out. Make diet your best medicine? Oh man man, hey man man, thanks for getting that goat off my back, I wanted to chew through all the wires. You're welcome, my name is Pasternak, you can call me Doshi, I'm the IT guy. Oh, so you're busy facing computers? Ah, no way, I'm gutting them to keep the best components. Oh, it's late, I have to leave before the Matrix wakes up. Matrix? The dot matrix, man. Are you new? Yeah, I started today. Well, you better catch up with the local fauna, man. Here, here, welcome present. You got a screwdriver. I have a workshop on the third floor. If you drop by later, maybe I can show you some super cool stuff. Ah, thank you very much. Peace, man. Peace? That, that, yeah, I like that, dude. Peace, dude. Using cool. Okay, but, okay, goat person, join me. Sweet adventures. When actually, I literally think these might fit, like, both of the people that I found, because that other guy, he wanted to be free, right? Unite and be free. Yay. Oh, but well, I'm gonna go back to the first floor, or my own floor, and I'm gonna buy a pencil, and then I'm gonna come back down here. We're actually getting into the part of the game where we need to trans... or, like, transition between floors in order to complete objectives, and it does not good look good for my future as a... a, a kinda infamously bad puzzle solver. Nope, nope, that's... He's just angry. There's a message on screen, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Good. There's an empty bookcase that I can climb instead of using... No, there isn't! I can't climb it! How do I climb this? Because I've actually started getting so used to this place that I don't even really need a flashlight to move around. Uh, there, there, oh, there's an open message. It says I've taken the book from my idiot partner. Stop by my cubicle later and take the book. <gasps> I got the code! 
I bet they're only giving this the solution for one of the guys though. But um I mean it's still we're making progress. I've been running around here for freaking ages. 908. Oh, eight. I think it's a self-help book. Swallow your anger. Pretend. Good advice, I'll remember that. Well this guy could sure as freaking eat it. Uh, swallow your anger, pretend. That's just wanna point out that sounds like absolutely terrible advice, but uh you know. Corporate jobs do as corporate jobs do, you know? I wonder how healthy it actually is to work in kind of like a salary job like this. Because you always hear that, like, a cubicle job is the worst of the worst you can get. Uh, when it comes to, like, stress and mental health, at least. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I think... Oh! Yes! This is good. How I Bombay Paradise. Probably not any of those. They're full of pictures of exotic landscapes. Well, is there just gonna be an answer in one of these? No, of course there's not. Where do I find a slogan for you? Oh! Oh! When you like your job, every day is a holiday. That is so sad. That sounds so sad. Hundred and if- You know, I'm gonna buy one just because these douchebags have been stealing all my health. Coffee vending machine. No, let's just stick with the soda. Soda should do. Well, this is- a fetish, I guess? I don't know, crawling around on all four- I, I don't know where I was going with that, let's just... For the safety of the others, let's not talk about it. Because they love their goats, as much as they take them everywhere. Oh, you're making fun of me, huh? Just because, you know, you can be a goat, you can be whatever you want. It's 2019, man, it's a very progressive time. Can I turn off my flashlight before we continue this conversation? Well, that's all four of them. Um, sorry, Brian, but something happened. A marketing girl who had just... who was already inside just escaped. I tried to catch her, but it was impossible. She got into HR. It's the door in the corner. Oh, but the... okay, okay, the bookshelf's empty. So, I can get in there now. Poor thing's sick of marketing and slokings, and, and she always goes in there to get a new job. No problem, I'll take a look. Or maybe let her switch jobs. Thank you, Brian. Oh, watch your step in there. The HR girls are a little, uh, cheeky. What's that supposed to mean? But if you remember the little tricks I told you about, you won't have a problem. Am I gonna be hiding from freaking marketing girls? Is that really what we've come to? You know I'm gonna save. That was that was freaking annoying. Oh, oh, I, I got ink. Okay. It's annoying that it's so it requires so much just to do something as simple as saving. It's kind of crazy. But then again, it does add kind of like that survival horror feel to it that you can't just con like continuously spam as soon as you make the smallest bit of progress. It's kind of like a hardcore mode on Resident Evil 2. See if I don't kill myself. If you kill yourself on a bookshelf... Oh! What are you doing? Uh... You really think this is the weirdest thing of all the stuff that's happened? You think this is- You just had to catch someone from going into the HR and you're my- you look down on me for going into the vents? Well, you okay. Um, well... Yoga? You're all over it, Brian. Fitness is very important in these sed sed sedentary jo office jobs. You know what, never mind. I thought you were gonna judge me, but it turns out you're just stupid. Uh, sure. Use that. And screw. <laughs> Better not be screwing with me, you know what I mean? Oh, good. Okay. Packet of coffee powder. This is a clipping from a society magazine. Was the recent funeral of an heiress at Central Corp's fortune part of a cover-up? Unofficial sources seem to believe so, as they have been un unable to access the autopsy report so far. Lore. That I don't know much about. It's not that I don't want to read about the lore. Lore is something I usually care about a lot in games, but... Like, I barely know what's going on. Like, just on a surface level. Hey, you! Wait! Sit tight, ladies and gentlemen. Who came in? Come closer. Come closer. Oh! Yeah! Why not? Got one cup of water. Okay, so she's just continuously spitting at me, so... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 ow, ow! Stop! Two batteries. Good for me. And how? Oh! 
I just barely made it. Okay, but I'm, how bad am I on health? I'm pretty bad. I'm pr maybe I should just start over. Well, I got my witch paper. That's good. Oh no. Let's welcome him, girls. Yeah, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Can they hear me run? No, no. Slice of cheese. Not worth it! I'll just go. Just go. Damn it, go. I hate this. What? I don't know. I don't know if I may be. Hi. Something bothering you except being naked? Do you know anything about resumes? You're an employee at an office shop. Shouldn't you know about resumes? Not much, really. Well, you can't help me then. Come back when you know something. Is that actually like a side objective? Because I'm not going to do that. What is that? Welcome, Hunter. Come closer. I was waiting for you. You know, I would. You seem very attractive. You got very nice lipstick. You want me to kiss you? It seems like something is straight off the Rolling Stones cover or something. Do you want me to kiss you? What's the matter? Haven't you ever been kissed? I'll make a man out of you. Isn't that what you came for? That thing is not right. It's giving me a very bad feeling. I shouldn't go near it. I've gotta find the marketing girl and get out of here. You can't- I'm not walking. I see. You don't even want to talk to me. Are you shy? Or are you afraid of me? Is it that the company hires cowards as hunters now? Don't. Oh! Are you the witch? I'm just a friend who wants to help you. What kind of help? I have a clue. A clue about her. You don't believe me? Look, look. Ew. It's a very important clue about the witch identity. Come closer if you want to take it. I can't quite see what it is from here, but it looks like a photograph. No. Sorry. I'll cut my losses. And, uh, interesting resume. Hey, extra resumes. Same salary. So I'll talk to that guy about salaries. No more marketing. Extra responsibility, same salary. How does this keep happening to me? Why do people keep biting my ass? Oh, no, okay. Hey, 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 hey. I'll, I'll, fine, I'll stay here. Okay, so that guy told me to come back to talk about resume, so I'm gonna do that, I guess? Hello? I don't know, I'm not, maybe. Hi, something bothering you? Do you know anything about it? You can't help me then. Come back when you know something. I know about I, I, I have resume. Fine. You know what? I'm on low health. Take my ass. <laughs> You know... Cannot say in any way that surprised me. You know what, no, I'll just take the ink oh, cartridges. Hello? I got it, it's perfect. What? What is this gonna be? The slogan for my resume. Do resumes have slogans? Sure! How could you get here without one? With the number of resumes they have to read every day in human resources, the most important thing is the first sentence, the initial slogan. I have the perfect one. Take a look at it. Lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. You know what, dude? I've I've had some good pasta, but this is some. Mwah, mwah, this is al dente. This is some good stuff. It's perfect, don't you think? Uh, wouldn't me? I mean, it's a bit direct, don't you think? What do you know? You didn't even know resumes should have Logan's pumpkin. Good. <laughs> Hi. No, the delicious mouth doesn't want to taste me. That thing on the wall? You really want her to eat you? What a question. Isn't that what we all want? The pleasure of being desired, getting recognition from your company promotion? But the mouth doesn't love us all equally. Some of them are savored for a while and then she spits them out. She didn't even spit on me. But I can't give up. They say there's a way to trick her. There's an object, a magical symbol that she can't resist. A symbol? Some say it's a figure of voodoo magic. If you worry, she'll notice you. If you want you, she'll pull you in. But if you don't have it, she can't see you. She doesn't love you. 
And that makes me very sad because she doesn't love me. So this is where I get the identity of the witch, but that means I need like a symbol or something along those lines. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ew, lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. What did I expect? What did I really expect to gain from that? Let's be let's be fair and honest. Are you nervous because of your resume slogan? Yeah. How did you know that? I'm not really sure about my slogan. Look, look. No more slogans. Just be yourself. That's good. No more slogans, just be yourself. Do you think the mouth will like it? Sounds simple, straightforward, and different. I'm convinced. I'm sure the mouth will like it. Yeah, but what if she doesn't like it? I can't risk looking like an idiot in front of my co-workers. So... Maybe that's what this girl wants, you crazy freaking... Oh. Oh, hey. You know, sometimes that's good enough. Maybe that's all you want. Come in here with me, girl. This is gonna be good. The picture is the best clue I've ever come across. I can't leave without it. The symbol... But I don't have a symbol and I don't wanna die. Ah! She pulls me in, I hate it! Um... Use? I'll put this on your belt. Forgive me for doing this to you, I hope you're not... I hope you're not to the taste of that wall thing. Put that on your belt. On your belt? What the fuck? Oh! Oh, oh! You think you're smart, don't ya? You got the photo! This picture must be important. Oh, great, so we gotta... Wait. Wait, hold on, no. That... that girl... That girl is straight up the robot. That girl is straight up the robot, like from Cintercorp. With, like, with the balls of hair and the red outfit? And the yellow eyes? That's straight up her. I have never seen this Neko girl, though. Who could these people be? Take it to Sintra, but before that I have to go get the marketing girl back. Uh, good idea. Go away if you want, Hunter. Go back to that stupid girl and take your trophy. I'm sure you will meet again very soon. And I'm giving you the kiss when you <laughs> least expect it. <laughs> Girls, please escort him out. Oh no. Oh no. Can we, uh... Can we run for it? Peeps. Run with me, girl. Oh, hey, we did it. Hey, that wasn't that hard. They actually made it easier because I didn't have to go through the spitting people. Phew. Finally got out. I hope those things can't get out here. They better not be able to. I just want to save. Well, here's the last one. Ah. Thank you so much, Brian. Please, workmate. Would you mind getting back to the others? G yeah, get back to your monotone task on all fours. You must have, like, some carpet burns or something on your skin. Oh, Brian. I own you big time. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to handle everything. No problem. Don't worry about it. You taught me the trick to hiding properly. I didn't even use- I used that, like, once. It's <laughs> silly. But that was nothing. If you help me with my task, it's only fair that I help you with yours. What were you doing on this floor? You told me something about a horse, didn't you? Uh, yeah, well, it was nonsense, motivational talk, homework, nothing important. Tell me, please, I want to help you. Well, I, I, I was asked to come to this floor to make a, a, a friend. And well, I, I thought maybe... Oh, come on! Find that hunter. Don't let him leave here with the autograph- with a photograph. Oh no! Quick, let's hide! They told me they always leave the office at the end of the month, but it's too early. I don't understand. This is great. This is fun. Are you having fun? Looks like they're gone. Well, I think it- I'd better get back to my office. I've done something that's important to a workmate. Okay, I still have a lot of work to do around here, but 
Later, I'll buy you a cup of coffee for everything you've helped me with. All right, I'll see you later. Frick. Nope, you know, that, that's fine. Just... Ow! 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 Okay, okay, no, 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 good. No good. Okay, peeps, can you let me hide on your desk? She's still there. You know that maybe that's for the best. She's stuck there. She's stuck there. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> quick, quick, fifth, fifth, fifth. Okay. Good. Okay, let's talk to Sintra. The girl who's absolutely in the picture. I am absolutely calling that. Sintra's disappeared again. What could she be? Well, she usually sings. She's... Not at the swing. No, the swing's empty. Oh, hey, I can use the swing. That's sweet. But get out of there, though. You're, you're a grown man. Come on. I mean, not to judge. You can, you can do that when you're a grown man, but not now. There's a time and place for everything. Oh, come on, man. I went in here for solitude. Should I have saved? Am I gonna regret this? Sintra? Hi, Brian. What's all this? Didn't know there was anything like this on the Sintranet. It's a digital library. The company has a collection of more than 10 million books and articles. I like to spend my free time scanning and debugging the material. I was just now analyzing in detail that hex and hammer you brought me earlier. Okay. It's a fascinating book. Did you know that to close the deal with the devil, we just have to drink his blood? Yuck. Speaking of which, I think I found a clue. I showed a photograph to Sintra. You... You found this? Where did you get it? I went to human resources on the fourth floor and there was a giant mouth on the wall. She said she was a f my friend and wanted to help me hunt down the witch. What? What? You told her you were a hunter. No, I didn't tell her anything, but she already knew. I don't know how to put it into words, but I felt like I was talking to the witch. The thing about her gave me chills. Analyzing photography. That's you. Come on, tell me. Do you know who they are? Yeah. It's the Sintra family. Sintra Corp was created in 1951 by Joao Sintra. In the photo besides the patriarch, his wife, Xiu Ying, and his daughter, Ray Sintra, appear. You have a certain resemblance to her, don't you? A, a lot. That's correct. According to company records, Ray Sintra died at age 11. The family was so saddened that when I was made, they wanted to honor her memory by making me in her image and likeness. She was the person with the burned face. Because of her heightened dress, she could be another girl of a similar age, but I'm not sure the family didn't have any more or I'm sure the family didn't have any more descendants. It's possible she's a friend of Ray's, but it's impossible to identify her from this image. Do you think talking to someone in the family might help? It's a great idea, but I'm afraid there's no one left alive. The last relative of the Sintra family died in 1983. When that book came out? Oh, that, is that the, the dystopian age? Well, well, I guess I can relax a little bit. Go look for other clues in the canteen. There's one thing I don't understand. Why did the witch give you this picture? Well, she didn't really give it to me. She used it as a trap to get me to approach her so she could attack me. I managed to trick her and get the picture. We don't know if it might be another trap, but at the same time, it's the best lead we have. That's true, it could absolutely just be another trap. Which would be bad. Brian, you need to get the information on the Sintra family. We need to find out who that other girl is. But how? You just said they're all dead. The remains of the Sintra family are stored on the 8th floor. Head over there and try to find out what you can. We're heading into a burial site in a haunted office building. Are you kidding me, Sintra? Ugh, well, okay. Brian, you need to have a worse reaction than that. Well, okay. It means yes, I'm gonna go check it out. I know what it means, Brian, but... I noticed a change in your attitude. You told me you went to human resources, didn't you? Huh? What were you doing there? Oh, yeah, well, I was helping Kate. A partner from the Hive. Is she your girlfriend? What? N no, no, she's not my girlfriend. She's someone I, I met in the lobby this morning. Today is her first day too. 
I know what you're gonna tell me, and no, I haven't told her anything about me being a hunter. I didn't tell anyone, tell anyone, okay? I did tell that one guy. There was one guy I told about being a hunter, but he was also a hunter and kind of on the brink of death. Um, but well, yeah, I think I got pretty much everything. I know what I need to go. But who knows? It might be your girlfriend. It might be my. I mean, I, I, I like Kate. Do you like Kate? Do you guys like Kate? I kind of like Kate. I think Kate's kind of neat. She's very naive though. Um, but then again, so was this guy. But anyways, I'm gonna leave off this episode here. Holy crap, I've been recording for almost two hours. Uh, that section took a long time, but I actually really liked the level. I thought there was gonna be a little bit more scary stuff to it. The most scary we actually got was just kind of like the... Well, first of all, the spider. Uh, and then, of course, the, the ladies with the lips. But we're still not in like true horror territory, and I don't know if this that that's something the game will ever get into. Maybe it's just a game that's more focused on the theme of horror than the actual like horror aspect, which you know to me is always kind of like a personal disappointment. Because whenever I go into like RPG games like this, I expect some really good horror. Because freaking The Witch's House, uh, like Ip, like all those all those freaking games, Mad Father. They were so well. They they of course they weren't really just good with like um, being scary, but they had a lot of jump scares. Like they were very aggressive uh, horror games, and that's you know. And they also had a lot of good story to them. So and and Blank Dream especially. Uh, so I'm kind of disappointed that there's not that much horror to it. But I still I'm still really interested in this universe. I think this universe is so cool. I have no idea what's going on. And I do like the few characters, because I appreciate the few characters who are actually somewhat normal. Like, even people like Sosa. Sosa would look like a freaking creep. I think she's one of the most normal people, and she's one of the people that I'd m much rather talk to in this entire company. So, I, I think that as a feat for this game, uh, like, just finding comfort in the most stupid of things, is... that I think that's an achievement. But anyways, I'm rambling too much. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.